Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 NFC custom ROM Renovis back with new video, guys. This is a hyper res build. If I go into my device, you can see hyper res 1.0.24.3.18 developer edition. It is you can read the specifications. If I go into detail information and specs here, OS version I already said Android version is 14 here and march security patch is embedded and kernel users 4.14.290 silent kernel has been used here that's the version and everything regarding that there's the quick settings toggles what you can get based on hyper -verse. this is in the edit section there are few more options like these are crucial you need to use them i'll be adding them in the main screen here sync option is also available nfc is not available i'll do, do one thing I will disable all these things yeah and this is the typical home screen what we can get here and apps like dialer you get simple uh, MIUI I mean the hyperos developer direct video call feature is also available and you can directly record the calls it will not announce the other person that you're recording the call that's how it is and moving into camera again you get this kind of camera here video support is there up to 4k 30 option is there then the more options like photo mode you get all these options this is a hyper res camera everything is working fine if you want to use any gcam port you can use those also uh, join my whatsapp group guys for more details and uh, everything i have dedicated whatsapp group for poco x3 device itself or slash nfc this is how the typical home screen and this is a quick settings toggle here if I press and hold this settings icon you can actually edit the icon uh, you need to give permission to the themes and you get all these options and this Android sorry MIUI hyperos uh, options are given as you can see there's a kind of dynamic island or anything like that and even if I press and hold in the lock screen you get lock screen customizations here too there are plenty actually start using that you can actually give filter here like this matter effect i don't want it apply yeah that's how it looks like as you can see this how the lock screen customizations are given here if you go into settings we'll continue that interconnectivity options are given here and more interconnectivity options you get private dns airplane mode portable hotspot vpn me share cache printing and chromebook support is given here into wallpapers and personalization again if you go into wallpaper there are some pre-installed hyperos wallpapers here again icons you get options of background color here and fonts you get plenty here if you revert back to themes you get plenty of options here anyhow and lock screen customizations remains like this you get charging animation from here side panel shortcuts are also given here let me show you as you can see if you want you can delete them and add something else wallpaper carousel i don't think so anyone uses it it's an adware and notification status bar again you get notification and icons what you need to set it out and battery indicator it's outside anyhow hide notch you can do notch in individual apps also you can select for certain app is not playing in full screen you can actually select them control center style and smart device controls if you want you can add them in the notification and control center display and brightness again you get dark theme sunlight mode is also given color screen you get options here and reading mode refresh rate option is set to 60 make it 120 90 is also given here it's an adapter refresh rate guys home screen again you get here simple options if you're going to system navigation again there is no option like that uh, arrange items in recent ios style is simply missing here you know if you keep horizontal yeah it's not an ios it's a clean and clean hyper as build guys for poco x slash nfc these are the things you get in terms of home screen on sound and touch you can you get plenty of options here sound effects again there is a xiaomi sound no dolby atmos preset you get four different options when coming to battery again you get these four different modes use performance mode while gaming balance always battery saver once the juice is lower don't use this uh, ultra battery saver it's just drain the battery instead of saving you for power fingerprint face unlock i haven't added fingerprint let me add that and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and 
if you want to like the video give it a like i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos guys and if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom you can comment down in the comment section and i recommend you to join the whatsapp group for this poco x3 slash nfc there you will be uh, getting some information regarding this roms devices and camera application and all here you keep it fingerprint recognition method into touch guys now let's see the fingerprint unlock first and followed by the face unlock just gets unlocked with just a single tap here and face unlock as you can see again it's very much quick as you can see it's very very fast and accurate again if you don't want this one like stay on the lock screen you can remove that now if i show you it will be even quicker to unlock your smartphone as you can see it's very much fast in my opinion in the additional settings again you get accessibility menu and gesture shortcuts you get plenty here once you flash the rom you can check out here and quick ball again no one uses this if you want to use you can do one-handed mode and clear speaker mode are given here regarding additional settings you also get to tap plus here and floating windows that still remain memory extends up to 6 gb my variant is 6 gigabytes and kit space led light and this all the options what we can get in this particular rom it's ui is smooth responsive i really like it and system wide animations are there but not that level but kind of hyper as level and here we get gallery application like this if you go into more you get recognized test table and there is even an editor here it will get downloaded and you also get uh, sky changing modes and other things are implemented here no need to worry regarding that even video editor is also there i have 200 mbps atl fiber connection it is pulling around 180 mbps and 732 is a single score and 1857 is a multi score geekben 6.2.2 version i am using android version 14 lanes 4.2.90 silent kernel has been used relax 76257 is the android benchmark results what i got 5 degrees celsius is the temperature raise and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped here and 10.2.4 is the version i am using and result you can check out here both getting passed and devices certified here no need to worry using payment applications here and also ott application you get hdr support and level one certified here and these are the read rates split test with graphical and numericals and this is turbo charge voting i mean charging rapidly support is there this are the you i guess uh, let's see game plan end of this video regarding graphic settings that's fine here you're getting up to 90 fps i mean extreme plus now now extreme plus is nothing but 90 fps there are slight lag in counter attacks you guys can see and you also get this gaming mode here i'll do one thing i'll keep this saturated and bright and keep it performance mode let's see how it handles a similar attack i can plan here Yeah, much better now you need to enable that performance mode guys while playing these kind of games actually yes our volume panel looks like the gaming experience is fine here and guys if you use models and everything and all your device will not become iphone that you need to remember guys your device will remain same snapdragon 732g powered poco x3 only if you use models and all it will not going to become an iphone 15 pro max or anything like that you need to keep in mind these things where was the okay anyhow this are the gaming experience as of now it's fine but it's not up to the level of gaming room or anything like that but still it's okay no one are currently playing that much now into the bgma if you are playing let me know in the comment section guys i'll make one kill and come back here let's do some jig jig here attack That was really messed. <laughs> it was a long time. Okay. It was really kind of playable, but not up to the level. 
anyhow we'll come back here that's the gaming experience in this particular rom and ui is smooth uh, definitely usable and you can definitely use it as a daily driver and check out other videos also i have made plenty of uh, hyper as builds on poco x you can check out those and this is also good but just the gaming experience is not that level but still uh, what i said in the video you can check out from the start and end and check out the battle life and everything that's the hyper as build for poco x3 guys if you're still not joined the whatsapp group you can join my whatsapp group for poco x slash nfc and this is sampad guys signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now